But hi all, I'm going to show you today a little bit on how to use non-audio bus compatible apps with audio bus. Alright, so let's go ahead um, and open up audio bus. Um, all we have to do here is uh, get yourself a guitar interface. Uh, there are tons to choose from um, for various price ranges. You need a 3.5 millimeter uh, cord to reach from your iPhone into the dock. You need a stereo to, moni uh, stereo to mono uh, input converter. And uh, this here just goes out to my little laptop speakers. You can put anything you want in there. Uh, headphones, whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and start this up. Basically what you're going to want to do is uh, have this input coming from the microphone input. You can add other other things in there after if you'd like. Uh, we'll go ahead and put our, our effect as uh, Jam Up Pro. Wait for it to open here. And we're back to audio bus. And we'll just put our output as the speaker output right now. You could put it as any of the various uh, outputs associated with audio bus to record your project. And we'll go ahead and open a Camel Audio's Alchemy here. All right, now we're ready to fly. I'll go ahead and open up Jam up just so you can see that the levels are in fact coming through. Now, we can do this all the exact opposite by um, turning everything off and putting it in reverse order. And we can test with uh, non audio bus compatible apps as our output. So let's go ahead and try that. Close down this. Close down our programs here that we had running. Audio bus needs to be closed. All right. Now, what we're going to use, we'll use Amp Kit as our. Uh, output device. And we'll go ahead and close Alchemy down here. Alright, now we'll open Audio Bus up on the iPhone. We'll select our input. Let's try Sampleton. Open Sampleton up. Alright, so let's put an effects in. Let's put Jam Up Pro again just for now. Select our speaker output. And we can play. Mm -hmm. Let's open up our amp. I just have the uh, Acoustic over Ashdown preset loaded right now. As you can see, it's coming through. We can go ahead and and record. And that's about it. With uh, using this simple chord, we can test it out. It's of course not going to be quite as crisp and clear as it will be when the program actually becomes associated with Audiobus, but at least you can try it for now. Alright, uh, thanks a lot and enjoy!